first thing I noticed was the smell. It was very sharp and unpleasant, coming in wafts out of each room. It was the smell of dead people. This is Morambi, the technical school in Rwanda, where, 20 years ago, 45,000 Tutsi were killed by Hutu extremists. The bodies of these people were preserved underground because of lack of air to decompose them. There were many buildings scattered along the hill, each with four individual classrooms. These rooms were filled with the calcified, lime-coated bodies of dead Tutsi. Although many were mostly skin and bones, the facial expressions and positions these people were in during their time of death were still preserved. The combination of both sight and smell was horrific, and truly gives meaning to the numbers of those who died. In several cases, you can actually see the cause of death, be it a bullet wound, a missing limb, or a machete strike. This is possibly the most horrific way to memorialize the death of others. But the real question is, is it disrespectful? In my opinion, this raw form of preservation is extremely disrespectful. However, it is very helpful in the sense of education in the future, and is therefore more necessary than we can imagine.